Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views. In today's video, we're talking about the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak and the iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak, which both of them, of course, are not out yet, but we're expecting to see jailbreaks for both of these firmwares pretty soon as they both have exploits public now. So, Saigusa has released an exploit for iOS 10.3.3 and on the other hand, we have a, an exploit released by Ian Beer for iOS 11.1.2 and lower. So I see a lot of people asking on which firmware to stay and whether the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak or the 11.1.2 jailbreak will come out quicker. So let's quickly discuss about that. So now let's quickly talk about on which firmware you should be on. So if you're on iOS 11.2, go ahead and downgrade right now to iOS 11.1.2 as it's still being signed. And that will stop being signed any day now, so you don't have much time, you have to hurry up. So if you're on iOS 10 and you're wondering well, you should, whether you should go to iOS 11.1.2 or stay on iOS 10, I say if you have an older device, stay on iOS 10. Not because I believe the jailbreak for iOS 10 will come faster than the one for iOS 11, but the older devices don't work that good on iOS 11. I have my iPhone 5S right here on which I'm stuck on iOS 11.1 and I wish it, it would be on iOS 10 because it works so much better. And then if you have a newer device, of course, it's your choice whether you want to go to iOS 11.1.2 or stay on iOS 10. I personally believe that the jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 should come a little bit faster than the one for iOS 11, but don't take my word for that. You should go ahead and just decide yourself what you want to do. You should basically gamble on it because nothing is for sure which one will come faster, the iOS 11 one or the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak. So both of them have public exploits now, they're very powerful and most likely we will see very soon jailbreaks getting released for 10.3.3 and 10.1.2. But it's your choice whether you want to stay on iOS 10 or go ahead and update to iOS 11.1.2 as you still can. Another thing that might help you decide whether to stay on iOS 10 or to update to iOS 11 is that most of the tweaks that you use frequently will be available on, on iOS 10 faster because most of them probably will be compatible with iOS 10 and most of them probably will have to be updated to work on iOS 11. So that is another thing that might help you decide whether you want to stay on iOS 10 or iOS 11. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. As I said, both of these firmwares, iOS 10.3.3 and iOS 11.1.2 and below have now exploits released and we could see a jailbreak any day now for iOS 11.1.2 and for iOS 10.3.3. So that's it. Go ahead and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news about these jailbreaks. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.